The critically endangered mountain pygmy possum is Australia's only hibernating marsupial, spending up to seven months in hibernation a year. Sadly, less than 2,000 of these tiny possums are left in the wild and they desperately need our help. Marissa, tell me about these little guys. Oh, the mountain pygmy possum is one of the most amazing species. Every year they hibernate for five to seven months underneath the snow. Wow. And the amazing thing is during that time they lose half their body weight and then they rely on their main food source, the bogong moth, to increase their weight, to raise their babies. Mm. They can have up to four babies and they actually more than double their weight up to often over 80 grams to get ready for their next hibernation. They're found in three populations in places like New South Wales, at Mount Kosciuszko, at Mount Buller, and then in the Bogong High Plains. And unfortunately, before people even knew that there were pygmy possums there, there was habitat destruction. There's the issue with introduced predators like cats and foxes. Yes. And then there's the increasing issue with climate change. So we work to protect these beautiful possums and recover them and increase their numbers for the future. And so what can people do at home, I guess, if they're wanting to help? Because there are some things that we can do as individuals. That's right. There's a lot happening with the Bogong moths at the moment mm -hmm. that people can do in their own lives to help. So the bogong moth is the mountain pygmy possum's main food source in spring and usually about four billion bogong moths arrive up in the alpine zone every spring and summer and unfortunately in 2017 and 2018 the moths that usually arrive mostly failed to arrive they were almost undetectable wow. And so that left the pygmy possums very hungry. Yeah. And sadly, across all of the monitored Victorian populations, more than 50% of females lost their babies. Oh. At Zoos Victoria, we've had a number of campaigns that people in their own lives can help with, including the Lights Off for the Bogong Moth campaign, mm -hmm. so that the moths can continue their migration they without being distracted. <laughs> That's right, they don't get distracted by those big light traps. Yep. We have our wonderful citizen science moth tracker. Mm -hmm. So if you see something you think is a bogong moth, you can take a photograph, upload the photo, we'll identify it for you and add it to our map so okay. that we can track that migration. Okay. And there is the amazing revegetation work we're doing with pet stock. So across all Victorian pet stock locations, as well as our three locations mm -hmm. at Zoos Victoria, we've been selling mountain pygmy possum tote bags and for every bag we sell, we're going to be planting an alpine tree or shrub with our partners, which increases the habitat for the possums as well as the available food. Oh, great. So there is a bit we can do. We can turn our lights off. That's right. We can take photos of the moths and join the tracking group. And we can also buy a wildlife tote at the zoo or at the pet stock stores as well. If you'd like to find out more about this program and how Pet Stock Assist is helping and how you can help too, visit the Pet Stock Assist website. Thank you, Marissa. Thank you so much. <laughs>